Maybe I shouldn't make the response cause I wanna see writhe in thirst for drama content lil boy and flop like a fish out of water. Classic Griffin clone, you two deserve each other. What's the matter fanbot? Been hanging around your Lee shoulder for far too long? That you're gonna start projecting and deflecting like what he's been doing? But it's perfectly fine when he emulates Leafy, right? But oh wait, I forgot. Only the Great Griffin Gaming is allowed to do what the fuck he wants. Says the fanboy simping for a generic Leafy clone on the internet. One of Griffin's former pay picks, Game King 352 formerly known as God Howard, linked me to a stream clip of Griffin outrightly telling another YouTuber to go kill, kill himself. Yourself. He started fanboying for Battlefield 2042 Bruh. long before to happen. And who could forget his infamous 343 shilling adventures? Calling anyone a 343 bad individual just for daring to criticize 343 and Halo Infinite. Bruh. Selective outreach at its finest. Hypocrite Hunter is the perfect example of a channel with a seemingly good purpose that can quickly crumble to ash after committing a major fuck up. The lack of self-awareness he has is on the levels of someone like Under the Mayo, because as you'll find out throughout this video, there are clear signs that Hypocrite Hunter commits multiple things that greatly affect his look on this platform. Saving face by deleting evidence, strawmanning people's arguments, damage controlling on both YouTube and Twitter, blindly labeling people as Griffin fanboys, including myself, and a clear obsession with beating a dead horse, especially if it involves Griffin in any capacity. I respected what Hypocrite Hunter has done in the past. He's made valid criticisms towards Griffin's takes. But unfortunately, this man fell off hard. Because apparently it is a crime that I criticized him for his takes and slightly disagreed with what he said. So for those of you that came from either my live streams or my two community posts regarding the controversy, we will be dissecting this drama piece by piece, as I believe it shows the true colors of Hypocrite Hunter. In order to provide the full context, I figured to address the controversy by explaining what exactly happened in chronological order. So the first thing we must do is respond to his previous video, where he blindly paints a YouTuber by the name of Stuttering Mania as a Griffin simp slash Griffin fanboy, which has to be one of the most common tactics that Hypocrite Hunter would use against people criticizing his videos. He will go out of his way to shrug people off as nothing but fanboys if they ever dare to disagree with him. With that out of the way, this is where we cover the video that sparked the controversy. Because a Griffin Sim has apparently had enough of my shit and is now trying to call me out on this channel. Someone by the name of Stuttering Mania, which I guess he's desperate enough to want to be featured on the Hypocrite Hunting live show, in which congratulations buddy, you made it. Notice how quickly he will come to the conclusion that Stuttering Mania is a Griffin Sim. But meanwhile, if you take one look at Stuttering Mania's channel, the video Hypocrite Hunter is responding to is the only one Stuttering Mania has ever made about Griffin. Griffin. It's completely ironic that he'll call this person out for being a Griffin simp, but he is jumping the gun on what his channel is all about, which is something Hypocrite Hunter will also criticize Stuttering Mania for, which we will get to in a moment. If you read the title and are wondering who the people I'm about to discuss even are, here's the short version. Griffin Gaming is a YouTuber of the commentary variety who generally bases his content around whatever will get him the most views. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but um, most, if not all YouTubers don't just do it for the views, but they care about the topics they talk about as well. Just look at those channels who upload song covers and reviews of their favorite entertainment set pieces. Are they just doing it for the views? No, of course not. They care about what they do and talk about. Intentions on YouTube are inherently a subjective thing. Some YouTubers don't actually care about what topics they talk about and are just looking to make a quick buck, which is not inherently a bad thing unless if they are either grifting a certain topic or they are being disingenuous in their videos. Besides this, however, it is inherently subjective on why people do YouTube videos. 
Some may be doing it for the money, some may be doing it for views and subscribers, some may be doing it for the purposes of entertainment, and some may be doing it for all of the above. You are in no position to determine what any YouTuber are and are not trying to accomplish on the platform. That is for you to find out why they are doing it. That's the purpose of them uploading it in the first place. If we are just doing it for the quote unquote views, then why upload any video at all, am I right? Because they want to grow their channel, like any YouTuber could do. Gee, who could have guessed that? It's almost like most YouTubers have a goal to grow their channels and gain subscribers, especially if it's in the commentary community. When Griffin said he only does YouTube for the views, I'm sorry but to tell you again, but this is nothing more than self-projection by our lord and savior Grifter Christ himself. Only he's allowed to make videos for views and ad revenue, but no one else can. This is a common criticism that Hypocrite Hunter will make against Stuttering Mania, but the stupidest thing about about this criticism is that Stuttering Mania never makes the argument that Griffin can do YouTube for the money and no one else can. It is a nothing point to make when they haven't even mentioned that yet, and that's not the point that they're trying to make. You can freely call out Griffin for his hypocrisies when it comes to calling people out for doing YouTube for the money, but even if he can be hypocritical about it, it does not change the fact that those are his intentions on the platform to make money. It's especially stupid since the upcoming clip that Hypocrite Hunter is about to use in this video is from over two years ago, so all he's doing is beating a dead horse. Oh, and I also should mention that this is his favorite excuse whenever someone responds to his criticisms, quote unquote. Although it's not criticism, it's just targeted harassment because he's just forcing his beliefs onto you. What? What the fuck? Um, what beliefs exactly is Griffin forcing onto others? Griffin for the most part talks in hyperbole when he gives out his opinions on games, but that's not targeted harassment. And if what you're referencing is the COD Vanguard stream where he was watching the Act Man, then once again, all you're doing is beating a dead horse. Another favorite tactic of his is to literally project his actions onto other people. Saying that, oh you're just doing it for the views and ad revenue, how dare you do such a thing when he's the only one doing that. And yeah, I think I said enough. Watch the upcoming clip if you want a clear picture of what I'm talking about. As I mentioned earlier, the video Hypocrite Hunter uses as a reference to call out Griffin as a hypocrite is a video from over two years ago, and the best part about the clip in question is that it was completely taken out of context. When the clip is shown, you may take it at face value and say that Griffin is complaining about Bring Halo Back making money off of YouTube, but the actual point Griffin was trying to make was that Bring Halo Back was complaining about a non-issue regarding Halo 3 Master Chief Collection on PC being released early. He was basically saying Bring Halo Halo Back was trying to find a reason to rant on YouTube rather than having actual good points to make. It's a shame that I did not research this earlier, but it's further proof that Hypocrite Hunter is being extremely disingenuous when criticizing Griffin for his supposed hypocrisies. But when he shows an example of said hypocrisies, it turns out to be a clip from over two years ago taken out of context. The fact that this is how Hypocrite Hunter operates is astounding to me. He will make a video about a trending topic, maybe several videos, and share his opinion on said trending topic. And this has netted him massive success. 200,000 subs is nothing to sneeze at. And the other character in this farcical play is Hypocrite Hunter, a man whose entire personality seems to be based around hating on Griffin Gaming. Bruh. 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 I love how we're only 30 seconds into your video and you're already gonna accuse me of farcical play. What's the matter fanbot? Been hanging around your leash shoulder for far too long? That you're gonna start projecting and deflecting like what he's been doing? You know, considering that you've made 14 total videos on Griffin and his supposed fanboys, as well as you having a playlist dedicated to future reactions to Griffin's content, I can confidently say that Stuttering Mania is 100% correct that your channel is farcical play. He accuses you of such things because you have a lot more videos criticizing Griffin than you do have on anyone else combined. Not to mention the fact that your very first commentary video was responding to Griffin. The vast majority of your content has more time on Griffin than anyone else you've covered on your channel thus far. He has also once again painted Stuttering Mania as a quote unquote fan bot for Griffin because of how he accused him of farcical play. It just seems to me that Hypocrite Hunter has been spurging out about being criticized from these kinds of people rather than actually making valid points to counter their arguments. Calling him pathetic, a grifter, a liar, a hypocrite, you know, the typical YouTuber insults. But what am I doing here? Well, I think it's fascinating. Because if you look at their channels, aside from the obvious difference in production quality, Hippo Hunter- Um, did you fill an English class or something? Because I believe my name is Hypocrite Hunter and not Hippo Hunter. He's very clearly mocking your username due to his previous statement that your channel is farcical play. 
By the way, this part's going to be even funnier once we get to Hypocrite Hunter's response to me. Also, are you really trying to compare me to Hippozone? Judging by the way you twist it and turn my name or something? But then again, this is the same guy who literally made enemies with your lord and savior, so I'm not surprised here. Cause he is living rent free in all of your heads to the point that anyone who dares to criticize Griffin is literally Hippo, right? I mean dude, if that's what you consider rent free, then I can apply that statement right back at you tenfold. Quite literally, the vast majority of your content is based around shit-talking Griffin and calling him out. What the hell do you call that? His titles, thumbnails, and whatnot are exactly the same format as Griffin's. Which is bizarre! You're acting like he's everything wrong with the internet but are doing your very best to emulate him. But it's perfectly fine when he emulates Leafy, right? But oh wait, I forgot. Only the great Griffin Gaming is allowed to do what the fuck he wants. The point that Stuttering Mania is trying to make is that you are structuring your videos the exact same way that Griffin does, which is the ultimate irony because of how much you despise him. Now of course, leafy clones can shed on each other regardless because at the end of the day, if you use background footage of gameplay while talking into a mic and using said video to respond to people, then that by default makes you a leafy clone. The difference with me, however, is that I have a very sexy avatar, so that means I'm better. I personally don't go out of my way to copy and act like people I despise, and the similarities are way, way too specific for this to be a simple coincidence. Hippo Hunter has, conservatively, spent 14 and a half hours talking about Griffin. I calculated it! Let's see these numbers, dog. Have you heard the saying, saw sorry didn't happen? Now this is a miscalculation on Stuttering Mania's part. He very clearly did the math wrong when seeing how much of Hypocrite Hunter's content is based around Griffin. No, it is not 14 hours. Adding up all of his videos based around Griffin combined into one package, it adds up to a total of 7.5 hours. That's almost one work shift. And while it's not as much as Stuttering Mania claims it is, it is still a large majority of his overall content, and it still proves his point that you are pretty much obsessed with Griffin and his takes. I have to remind you guys once again that this motherfucker has an actual playlist dedicated to Griffin's livestreams, and future reactions he was planning on making. You really cannot make this shit up. That's almost two work days. Two work days? 14 hours is not even a day, and you're saying that it's two work days? Where the fuck did you pull that one from? Your asshole? Congratulations, you played yourself. Despite the fact that Stuttering Mania did the math wrong earlier, somehow Hypocrite Hunter makes this even worse. How did work days fly over your head? A work day is a shift, which is usually 8 hours. 14 hours is almost two work days. You misconstrued his point entirely by stating he was thinking about entire days rather than shifts. Like, how the fuck did you miss that? And Griffin has, as far as I can tell, not mentioned him once, which I think is really funny. Well, I have a theory on why that might be the case. Do you all remember Griffin's life emotional meltdown regarding COD Vanguard on stream? AKA Griffin's very own Twitter slash Reddit moment. If that motherfucker acted that way towards the Ackman, no pun intended of course, what makes you think that he won't do it a second time? And also, should I mention the fact that he backed out of his debate with Near Fanboy, now known as Brother Near 2.0? Yeah, I think these two incidents speak for themselves. Now you're just beating a dead horse. Just because of one incident from a few months ago happened where Griffin was having a giant reddit moment over one video game, doesn't mean he does not have the capability of having a civil discussion. This is quite literally the definition of a selective outrage, because you're cherry picking an incident from a few months ago that fits your ideology, rather than acknowledging any of the other streams where he actually can have a civil discussion. You can feel free to disagree with his takes, but look at his debates with people like Supernova or The One Boom. For the most part, Griffin acts civil in those debates, regardless of what his takes are. Is there anything to Hippocrates Hunter's accusations? The short answer is probably not. I can't say for 100% certain, because 14 and a half hours of video is not something I'm willing to sit through to prove somebody wrong on the internet, especially content as generic and subpar as this is. Says the fanboy simping for a generic leafy clone on the internet. Pretty ironic if you ask me. Says the motherfucker that emulates the very person that he despises by having video game background role while talking into a microphone responding to someone on the internet. Keep that same energy. But I can say with 80% certainty that the vast majority of hippo like hamstrings points are making mountains out of molehills. Just seizing on any little thing and blowing it up to the skies. Shouting it from the rooftops as if it's irrefutable proof that Griffin Gaming is indeed a cretin. Here's an excellent example. Watch this clip and listen to what he's saying. I just was like, nah bro, that's dumb. That's not a good take, like...
who am I insulting? Like, disagreeing with someone is not insulting them, bro. You know, grow up, put your big boy pants on. Not everyone who disagrees with you literally wants you to fucking die in a house fire, okay? I mean, not that I would be opposed to it, but anyway, you know, moving on from that shit. The point is, disagreeing doesn't mean you hate somebody, and it isn't an insult to disagree. That's pretty clearly what he's getting at, and in this case, I agree. It's not an insult to call somebody else wrong. But can you guess which part of this argument Hippo Hunter will choose to focus on? That's right. He takes the edgy joke Griffin made at the end of his comment, and if we interpret that comment as hyper-literally and as uncharitably as we possibly can, it means he literally wants people to die. Hold it! I knew you were gonna pull the classic, oh, it's just a prank guys, don't take it so seriously argument. But I'm sorry, that shit ain't gonna fly here. Because one of Griffin's former pay picks, Game King 352 formerly known as God Howard, linked me to a stream clip of Griffin outrightly telling another YouTuber to go kill himself. Oh my god guys, Griffin told someone to off themselves? On the internet? The audacity. This man is quite literally a monster, guys. The fucking gall of him to tell somebody to kill themselves on the internet. I mean, it's not like Griffin was just being edgy or anything. Uh, oh. Now, let's play hypothetical. Let's say that you're absolutely right. Griffin is just outright telling somebody to go kill themselves with no second thoughts, right? My question to that would be, why the fuck do you care? Telling somebody to off themselves on the internet is an empty threat, if you could even call it a threat. It's just words on the internet that don't have any meaning, because the term has lost all of its value on the internet. Did we care when low tier god made his long winded rant for us to kill ourselves? No. Did we care when Wings of Redemption told someone to die in an automobile wreck? No. Did we care when Dreamcast guy told people to take a long walk off a short dock? No. Every single one of those clips, except for maybe Wings, is just them being edgy for the sake of being edgy. Griffin is quite literally doing the exact same thing. Now just because I clarified that Griffin is just joking in that clip, that doesn't mean I find the joke itself funny. I am purely pointing this out just because people like Hypocrite Hunter proceeded to take this clip out of proportion, which is something that he doubled down on doing. But let's watch the clip to clear up any doubts we have, shall we? Thank you so much, Kitsune Fire. Is he using, like, text-to-speech? <laughs> this dude should probably just fucking kill himself. Welcome back to Otaku Daikun. Die here. Today. Take that! This video is really looking great for you, my dude. Normally, I would tell people, please stop embarrassing yourself, but unfortunately, Fanboys of any kind do not understand that meaning. I love how you're going to use that clip to defend a YouTuber that has been showcased on one of Griffin's livestreams justifying pedophilia by using the main character's backstory and their redemption arc to excuse their actions. In some ways, he's genuinely unlikable. Seriously, when he gets kicked out of his apartment, he's fapping to CP, not lowly No wonder why people like the show. Analyzes stuff, think he's disgusting after seeing his computer monitor. While it's possible to explain his behavior, we cannot simply excuse it. That said, the show- Yet they base their entire fucking show off of a literal fucking pedophile. What in the actual fuck, man? Asks us to forgive him. It's a redemption story in many ways. See, he was dealt a sh- No, just fucking smother his ass in the fucking cradle. ...shitty hand during his first go-around at life. His parents- Oh, he was dealt a shitty hand, bro, so what do you do? Oh, dude, fuck this shit. ...died when he was a child, and all throughout his school years he was bullied by his classmates. Like Ty- So he decides to look up videos of kids getting sexually ass- Wait, what the fuck? Dude, fuck this shit. Oh my god, these people are fucking sick in the head for watching this type of stuff. ...had to offense and made fun of for his limp penis. It's really awful shit. This pressured him into a life of solitude, where he surrounded himself with games and visual novels. It was a complete And apparently child fucking porn. ...complete escape from reality. And while I personally love escapism, there are healthy and unhealthy ways to go about it. 
In his case, he completely disassociated from reality. After all, what reverence did he owe a world that treated him like crap? It's likely that disassociation that led him to discovering CP. I feel like if he... <laughs> so it's everybody else's fault? Oh my god. He actually had to confront a child? To acknowledge how awful making that content truly is, he would never have been involved. Oh my god. He's defending this shit. You know, I can understand. You know, he probably wouldn't condone the production of it, but it's he just enjoys beating his fucking meat vigorously. Bro, what is this shit? Is this like some fucking defense of child porn viewers? Instead, real kids just blended into the various pixels on his computer screen, where he could take them- Oh, it's just pixels, guys. It's just pixels, right? Even so, he's not a monster who's transcended beyond- Yes, he fucking is. Anyone who does that type of shit belongs in a fucking hole in the ground with six feet of dirt covering their ass. Fuck that shit. But at least I get to melt this video for more views and ad revenue just to piss off these grifter fanbots even more. Hypocrisy, hypocrisy, hypocrisy. So you just blatantly admitted to doing YouTube for the views, which contradicts your point entirely about how, quote unquote, most YouTubers don't do it for the views. But we will have to come back to this later when we talk about Hypocrite Hunter's response to me. And in case you think I am exaggerating, he uploaded this clip with the title, Griffin Gaming Wishes Death on Another YouTuber. The description and comments make it clear that he isn't joking, he is literally accusing him of wishing death on somebody else. I'm not going to spend much time explaining that this is obviously not meant to be taken seriously. Bro, with your logic, DSP's roleplay as a Nazi live on stream isn't racist. And all of Wings of Redemption's stupid takes are just taken out of context, real talk. That is a false equivalency. We're talking about an empty threat that was used as an edgy joke, and you're comparing it to a lolcal having mental breakdowns on live streams and DSP having a long-winded anti-Semitic rant, which can be interpreted as racist. These are not fair comparisons, especially when you take into consideration that all Griffin did was make an intentionally uncreative kill-yourself joke. I mean, Jesus Christ, even Sean the Legend himself, the person that Griffin aimed his edgy joke at, does not care about what Griffin said in that clip, and he thought it was funny. You, on the other hand, are doubling down on taking his edgy joke out of proportion. Right? But no, it's Griffin, guys. Only he's allowed to make these stupid claims. And laugh at people similar to him except himself. But what can't you do about that one, man? Selective outrage at its finest. God help you if this is your definition of a selective outrage. The lack of self-awareness is astounding. You know it was a joke. I know it was a joke. And this guy knows it was a joke. He's just pretending not to. So he can manufacture an ounce of controversy by sending shots and getting views. The accusation of Grifter gets thrown around a lot by the hunter. He seems to think it's a silver bullet to take down Griffin once and for all. And I get it, okay? His name starts with the same four letters. Very clever. You get one applause from me. Thank you for the compliment. But he isn't. And I don't say that to defend his honor or whatever, but because I think it's literally not true. And that when I see someone perpetuating lies, I start to get annoyed. You see, the fundamental trait that all grifters share is dishonesty. They play on your sense of right and wrong, your empathy. They manipulate and trick people out of money, or manipulate and trick their online audiences to get money. And you see that Griffin has done all these things ever since after the Disco situation blew up. But wait, I shouldn't say after the Disco situation blew up because he started fanboying for Battlefield 2042 long before it happened. And who could forget his infamous 343 shilling adventures? Calling anyone a 343 bad individual just for daring to criticize 343 and Halo Infinite. But we all know that he will never do this shit, especially when it comes to Sony or any corporation that doesn't pay his bills or he doesn't fanboy for. So take a long hard look at the facts before you hop on that moral high ground you so love to stand on. Selective outrage at its finest. This is the textbook definition of a selective outrage. You are cherry picking Griffin's supposed fanboyism regarding these games, but completely disregard his criticisms towards both of them. No, Griffin was not fanboying over Battlefield 2042. He was just defending the game from people that made a big fuss about the game having no campaign. And as for Halo Infinite, he took the L for his fanboyism of the game while simultaneously criticizing 343 Industries for not properly managing their game. He even went as far as to rant about the game not launching with the ability 
ability to select what specific game modes you want to play. If you're really going to call out someone for a selective outrage, at least do us a favor and... Keep that same energy. Yes, it's true that Griffin will often make videos about topics he doesn't particularly care about, just to grow his channel and get more views and money. But that doesn't make him a grifter, especially because Griffin has repeatedly and constantly stated in his videos and on his live streams that he is only doing videos for money. Fucking cringe. This is literally how these grifter boss will always change the GoPos whenever something doesn't work. Look, here's We're the thing. Fine. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. How is he switching the goalpost exactly? Do you even know what goalposts are? He stated a fact, and you're accusing him of such things without giving a proper explanation on how he even does. And this is the reason he thinks he switched the goalpost. If the I don't care argument fails, then they'll just say, oh, it's just for money, guy. Bruh, you just admitted it. He does care. For the money. That was quite literally his entire point. Grifters don't do that. They need you to believe that they are true to whatever cause they are falsely championing, or to believe that their self-help books are worth anything. No grifter would openly admit that they just want money, because that would expose them for what they are. Where is the manipulation on this channel? In the clickbait titles? Clickbait titles and thumbnails are like advertisements in a shopping mall. They need to be eye-catching and exaggerated in order to do their job. Is it manipulation to talk about a topic you don't particularly care about in order to get money? You don't particularly care about in order to get money. This shit just writes itself at this point. How? He's quite literally stating a fact. What is your point exactly? Are you just making a big deal out of Griffin doing videos on certain topics only for views and money? If so, then that's pathetic. It is not inherently bad to talk about topics you don't care about if you do it for money. I don't know what the purpose of this point even is to begin with. When did Griffin sign a contract stating he must care about any video he makes? You're acting like he's broken some promise to be true to his heart or whatever, but he never made a promise of that sort. Or is it manipulation when people freely donate money of their own accord in his live streams? Money he does not ask for and makes clear he doesn't need, which is another point in his favor, by the way. Grifters will never admit they don't need your money. Whether it's campaign funds, sales of books, or just straight-up donations, grifters try hard to make you believe that they can't keep doing what they do without your money. But in his case, is reverse psychology. Bro, like, why do you think he's doing all this? Why do you think he says what he says? It's to throw off suspicion that he is a grifter. It's amazing how grifters and narcissists are both, like, pretty similar because both know how to say the right words at the right time to get what they want. Bro, no one that trashes one corporation but sims for another is to be taken seriously. These people are what we refer to as contrarians, or as your favorite word goes, grifters. That is an accusation at best. It is not reverse psychology to let people freely donate to your channel without the need for said money. He does not ask for money since he already makes a lot of it off of YouTube's ad revenue and his job outside of it. You have also failed to show any receipts of Griffin using reverse psychology to encourage donations. I also cannot stress enough how you are completely misusing the word grifter in this clip. The point Stuttering Mania was trying to make about how to properly identify grifters went completely over your head. A grifter on YouTube is someone that is being dishonest about what the purpose of their videos are. I'll give a couple of examples to further explain why Griffin does not fit the term. Under the Mayo did a charity stream, quote unquote, that involves him playing Elden Ring. The previous charity was for an actual good cause, which is for Doctors Without Borders, and the reward for completing the goal was to play Elden Ring. But in his Elden Ring stream, he starts another quote-unquote charity where if he reaches his goal, he will use the money for his own benefit by purchasing a PS5 so that he can make a video on God of War Ragnarok. That is dishonesty. Another example is Swegta, who made a video grifting transphobia in GTA 5, where he'll argue that GTA 5 is specifically transphobic, even though the game is meant to make fun of every single stereotype that exists. And before he made this video, he was grifting by telling people to donate to him to prevent him being homeless because of how he wasted all of his money partying during a worldwide pandemic. Now, what has Griffin done in comparison to Mayo and Swegta? He has been straight up honest that he does YouTube only for money, which is not inherently a bad thing. Doing YouTube for the money is not grifting. It is a completely normal intention for the platform. 
They play on a sense of obligation to get what they want. Sure, Griffin is happy to receive donations, and he'll always accept them, but he has a full-time job and plenty of money and makes that clear. People don't donate to him out of a sense of obligation or because he's tricked them somehow. They donate so that he'll read their chat message out loud in his live stream. This is part of a larger phenomenon on YouTube where certain people are under the impression that if you take sponsorship deals, run ads on your videos, have merchandise, or whatever, then you are soulless and evil. Guys, grow up. Profiting off your own hard work isn't soulless, and prioritizing money when making videos isn't evil. It's sensible. Translation. Only Griffin is allowed to do these things, but no one else is. And that's why this video exists. Straw manning. That is a straw man. You are quite literally putting words in his mouth in order to create an argument that he never said. His entire point was that any YouTuber can do YouTube for the money. It's not inherently evil to do so. No. Griffin is not a grifter. He makes content for the purposes of entertainment and money. That's it. But here's the thing. Manufacturing controversy, making mountains out of molehills, creating hours and hours and hours of videos that are mostly just video rips of somebody else's content, all for the purpose of convincing people that you are the one guardian of YouTube, standing up against the big bad commentary channel. That's really funny because Griffin used to act like that, until his face got exposed by some random e-girl and then he decided to just say fuck it, I'm done with this shit. But I guess that's what happens when you play rules with E but not from me, so I can't help but not feel bad. Griffin quite literally still does exactly that. He criticizes YouTubers that make bad Bad takes. The Discord situation did not change that in the slightest, and once again, you are continuing to be a dead horse, specifically a drama that has happened over a year ago at this point. But that's pretty much the end of that god-awful video. Now we have to take a look at how Hypocrite Hunter responded to my criticisms regarding the video in question. I told him how to properly identify grifters, I criticized him for strawmanning Stuttering Mania's point about grifting, and criticized him for taking Griffin's edgy joke out of proportion. He responds with an agreement about the grifter term, but follows up by stating that Griffin was projecting about mid-roll ads that YouTubers would put in for money, which is still a null point to make because he still took Griffin's point out of context as I mentioned earlier. He also insisted that he did not put words in Stuttering Mania's mouth, which he blatantly did as I showcased earlier, he just flat out refused to acknowledge it and instead insists that he is a Griffin fanboy. He also reiterates his statement about Griffin and his edgy jokes, creating the same false equivalency as before. Another point he made was that apparently Griffin weaponizes his fanbase, which he lacks the receipts for. I would go into further detail into all of these comments, but I don't want to make this video way too long, so I'll give a short rundown. I told him that he missed the point entirely and insisted that he strawman stuttering mania, as well as making a false equivalency regarding comparing Griffin to DSP and Wings. He strawmans me by saying I think certain YouTubers are racist, even though I've never heard of them. He then claims he did not compare Griffin to those YouTubers, even though that was his entire argument to begin with in the video. He then asks if I watched the Otaku Daikun clip. I ask him why he even cares to begin with and proceed to call him out for taking the edgy joke out of proportion. He acknowledges that they were edgy jokes, which makes his point even worse. He proceeds to beat a dead horse by mentioning the dark side of Griffin Gaming. I tell him I no longer stand by most points in that video, which was deleted a long time ago, he claims I am riled up over an opinion, which is not even an opinion, it's just him insisting that Griffin was threatening another YouTuber, and he accuses me of selectively defending a quote-unquote lol cow. The entire conversation was hilarious to say the least. It shows that Hypocrite Hunter lacks the ability to take criticism, and will proceed to start pointless arguments rather than address the valid criticisms at hand. But that's not all, folks. Hypocrite Hunter decides to bring the drama to Twitter, where he'll accuse me of trying to get back into Griffin's good graces by simply for him. Of course, I respond to the tweet, and it results into an internet fight, where he'll proceed to deflect my criticisms towards him, accuses Mario of thirsting for drama, and, you guessed it, beats a dead horse. He has also done the exact same thing in one of my community posts regarding the controversy. If you want to see the full Twitter conversations for yourself, it is still on there. However, the original posts that Hypocrite Hunter made have now been deleted. Which brings me to my next point. Hypocrite Hunter has been exposed for saving face and deleting evidence that makes him look bad. Originally, I thought Hypocrite Hunter shadow banned me from his channel, but this was not the case. However, it still makes him look bad considering the fact that he deleted my comments on the video, blatantly admitted to doing it, and then deleted those comments as well. It does not give you a good look if you delete comments that are criticizing your video. It means you lack the ability to take criticism while simultaneously giving it. Like my friend My Name Is Death says, you give the smoke, but you also have to take it. 
I cannot stress enough how terrible of a look this gives Hypocrite Hunter, because everything that he's done that I've explained is not only pathetic, but extremely scummy. He tries painting it as if he's taking the L on the situation, but will simultaneously insist on everything else, and quite the contrary, does not take the L. He goes out of his way to do the complete opposite of what he says. And perhaps the most baffling part to me is that the very same deleted video that Hypocrite Hunter would use to give me credit for, the moment I criticize his take, he will use the exact same video to try and discredit me, which I find poetically and hilariously ironic. The best thing that all of you should take away from this, especially since Hypocrite Hunter is obsessed with things in the past, is to let it go and move on. Making arguments about how someone is hypocritical by bringing up past irrelevant drama doesn't matter, does not support your case at all, and it makes you look like an absolute moron. Now, we finally come to Hypocrite Hunter's response to one of my live streams. This video is a complete clusterfuck. It's incredibly inconsistent, very poorly edited, and the arguments he makes against me are hilariously bad. Just a quick note. I will not be responding to the entire video, and the reason is because the video contains a lot of fluff, and in certain sections, Hypocrite Hunter does take the L with certain points that I make. It's also the fact that if I do respond to the entire video, then we would be here all day. So if you want to see the full video itself to get more context, I will link it in the description. But the parts of this video that I will be addressing are some of the most terrible comments and arguments he has ever provided thus far. Alright, so I'ma just go ahead and make this quick. Cause this video is already two days long overdue and more and more people are starting to take this out of context and misinterpret what happened. I was originally not going to respond to this drama, but looking back on it, I did go into things like uninformed and without the proper knowledge. But for those who are unclear what really happened, although I'm sure pretty much everybody must have heard about this by now, a YouTuber by the name of Brother Near 2.0 responded to one of my videos, the most recent one, I will like leave it up here, saying that I made some bad takes and worded things badly and misused some terms, which spoiler alert, I did all that which will all be addressed later on. But anyway, I responded to his comment, as usual, when someone would comment on my videos, attempting to explain to him some of the points that I made. No, you did not try to explain all the points you made. All you did was repeat yourself and insist that you're not in the wrong. You kept insisting that Stirring Mania was a Griffin fanboy and that you didn't strawman his argument, which you very obviously did, and there's concrete proof of that in that very video. Although I should have like made them clear in the video in the first place. But somehow this managed to em escalate into a full blown internet fight. Ah yes, because apparently no one knows how this controversy started to begin with. It's not like you tried to discredit me entirely by beating a dead horse, as well as deleting my comments criticizing you. Sounds like to me you're just beating around the bush and are intentionally leaving out concrete details of the situation, which he continues doing by the way. In which blew my mind to the point that I just deleted his comment. Cause in my mind I was just thinking like, what the fuck bro, what the fuck just happened? Despite what some people said about me not being able to take criticism and that's why I deleted the video, which yeah, no it's not. Nobody ever claimed that you deleted the video. All we said was that you deleted my comments and deleted your original posts on Twitter. So you are putting words in our mouths. But looking back on it, I don't think I should have deleted the comment. I just simply wasn't expecting it to create such an uproar. Oh, and I also should not have like, taken this to Twitter because, yeah, that would have created more misunderstandings and Twitter is well known for that kind of shit. I find your lack of self-awareness disturbing. All of the misunderstanding on Twitter was created by you and you alone. I made myself very clear on Twitter, as well as Mario, so all you're doing is just deflecting. But I guess now I deserve the blue checkmark Twitter logo right now. <laughs> But in the first place, all this could have been avoided if I simply just watched Nier's livestream instead, before I made any comments or said anything. But just a quick side note here, I really was not aware that he unlists his streams and stores them in a playlist, which 100% explains why it wasn't showing up on his main video tab. Because he claimed he watches live on stream, and I went to his channel and his main video tab, but couldn't find any trace of the stream or any streams that he'd done before. Hello, I am Baljeet. Today, I will show you how to find Brother New 2.0 playlist where he archives his streams. Step 1. Go to YouTube search bar. Step 2. Type in Brother Near 2.0. Step 3. Go to his channel. And finally, step 4. Scroll down from his homepage. And you can clearly see his fucking livestream playlist is right there! Use your eyes, you actual brain damaged individual, you fucking re- Thank you for watching. Have a good day.
I don't know. It really depends on what kind of YouTuber you're talking about. In this context, like, <clears throat> not every YouTuber is like that. Not every YouTuber is like that. Some go for the views and subscribers. Some go for the money. Some do it for the entertainment. Some may do all of the above. Again, it depends on the YouTuber. A lot of YouTubers have different intentions on what they want to accomplish on the platform. So you're not really in a position to, t to say like why they're on the platform to begin with. Okay, what's wrong with me saying that? If a YouTuber wants the views and ad revenue, they have to first create videos that people want to watch. Only then will the views and subs start piling in and eventually the thousand subs, you know, milestone where the partner program is eligible. You missed my point entirely. It's not about what kind of videos the YouTubers in question are making. It's about what they want to accomplish on the platform. Why do they make these videos to begin with? Are they doing it only for the views and don't actually care about the topic? Or are they doing it because they want to entertain people? The reason I took issue with this criticism of yours is because you're coming to assumptions on what every single YouTuber is trying to accomplish. Doing YouTube only for the views is not inherently a bad thing. Me personally, I make videos to entertain people. I don't care about the money I make on here. You forgot drama because the last time we duel, you were trying your damn hardest to not even listen to what I had to say and explain things, and instead is only interested in making me just another target for the internet. Although I'll admit that this video I made had some questionable stuff like me wording things wrongly and badly, but sorry about to break it to you, but I'll only admit the things that I'm wrong at. Deep down, you were hoping that this is just another drama that you can milk your dopamine and attention off. <laughs> The copium is strong with this one. Never have I seen so much levels of deflection on here. You say that as if you weren't drama hungry yourself, hypocrite hunter. You quite literally went out of your way to strawman my arguments, discredit me entirely, bring the drama to Twitter, and silence criticism. Not only did you beat around the bush about what exactly happens regarding the controversy, but you are also trying to twist the narrative that I'm only doing this because I want drama, even though I have been wanting to leave commentary for quite some time now. The reason I'm even making this video to begin with is because you continue to handle the situation extremely poorly, and you continue to show your true colors because of your actions, and all of your lies. But you don't have to worry about that one man, this is the first and last time I'm ever gonna spar with you because I'm done with this shit. Or at least this side of YouTube after this video. This wasn't the type of content that I was actually gonna start on my channel with anyway. You heard it here first ladies and gentlemen. Hypocrite Hunter is actively trying to run away from the drama because he can't take criticism. If you want any further proof that that's the case, look at the Twitter DMs between Mario and Hypocrite Hunter. All because I criticized his video. He wants to run away from the drama because it makes him look bad. This is not how you respond to controversy and it makes you look even worse. It should tell you that he's fully aware that he did something completely wrong and refuses to full on acknowledge it. And I would even go as far as to say that Hypocrite Hunter's 50 minute long response to me is also concrete proof that this is exactly the case. You could have ended this drama peacefully if you left this video of yours at 2 minutes explaining what happened and apologize for it. But instead you make terrible arguments about points you still stand by, even though they were never good points to begin with but this is nothing more than self-projection by our lord and savior Grifter Christ himself. I don't even know what point you're trying to make there. Like, can I hear that again? Or maybe wait till I'm done explaining things? Because I believe I'm talking here, so yeah. I want you all to keep this clip in mind. He just criticized me for pausing a video during a live stream and not letting him finish his sentence. Just keep that criticism of his in mind as we go deeper into this response. I think what he was trying to say is that Griffin projecting when it comes to only doing the videos for views slash money when he criticizes others for doing it, which was never a secret. Okay, I guess I didn't really think about that. Because, yeah, it does come off as hypocritical if he criticizes other people for doing that. So yeah, I, I get that. That does come off as hypocritical. I didn't really think about it in that standpoint. <laughs> and if you had listened to what I have to say, instead of blabbering about, you would have known that by now. 
Just a friendly reminder that the clip he uses against Griffin is completely taken out of context, so this just makes your point even worse, and it also brings forth a brand new criticism I haven't had before during that livestream. You are basically strawmanning Griffin's point in that clip from two years ago. He's not complaining about mid-roll ads, he is complaining that Bring Halo Back is pretty much grifting Halo 3 MCC on PC by finding a reason to complain. I believe my name is Hypocrite Hunter and not Hippo Hunter. Also, I- That sounds intentional, to call you Hippo Hunter. He could have just pronounced my name correctly, you know? Okay. Usually, a workday is 8 hours. When Quantum TV first struck my channel with a false copyright claim, I mean, YouTube told me that it would be 14 business days for them to respond to this counter notification, which is from Monday to Friday just like any other normal days. So I kinda went with this. A business day is synonymous to a work day, my guy, which is still 8 hours a day. You cannot be this illiterate. Just keep in mind, Hypocrite Hunter, you're also a Leafy clone. So don't be surprised if this guy flips that card right back at you. But it's perfectly fine when he calls me out for emulating Griffin. Okay, bro. I never said that. I said that you were calling Griffin a generic, leafy clone. But you use the exact same style of video as Griffin does. So the leafy clone statement can be applied right back at you. Please stop making straw man arguments and listen to what I'm saying. If hippo light hamstrings points are making mountains out of molehills, just see- Okay, he just called him hippo hamstrings, so yeah, he is intentionally just fucking- <laughs> He's intentionally just mispronouncing his name for like- <laughs> for, for a joke. Again, he shouldn't be doing that because he causes miscommunication and misunderstandings. So an intentional jab at your username causes miscommunications and misunderstandings? I... Pff, I'm so confused right now. I... I don't know how to process this level of stupidity. On, that's right. He takes the edgy joke Griffin made at the end of his comment, and if we interpret that comment as hyper-literally and as uncharitably as we possibly can, it means he literally wants people to die. Yeah, Hypocrite Hunter, you really took that out of proportion, if I'm being honest there. I mean, shit. I make edgy jokes like that all the time. It's not that big of a deal. And why should I give leeway to a retard who can't understand jokes himself? This is the same motherfucker who literally went out of his way to misconstrue the Ackman's N-word video, which are referenced in the context of jokes and not racism. But wait, why am I even explaining such an obvious point? That was not a joke. Actman was making an analogy, and he ended up using a very poor example, which was using the N-word. This is perhaps one of the worst offenses you've done so far, as saying the N-word by itself should not be taken as a joke. The point Actman was trying to make, however, was that using gay as an insult is only an insult if you take it as one. I agree with him that it's not an insult to call someone gay unless if they take it as one, but using the N-word was a very bad example since it is immensely derogatory. Nothing about that analogy was a joke. So once again, I'm gonna have to call you out for making a false equivalency, as I believe an intentionally uncreative kill yourself joke is nowhere near as bad as saying the n-word. Oh no dude, he said go kill yourself. None of us really even cared when Quantum TV did it. Oh really? None of you cared. Because if I remember correctly, that was not the case, especially with a couple of responses to his bullshit Elden Ring review. I even have a clip of one of them right here. Go ahead, explain to me the upcoming clip. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. I say less. Shut the fuck up, Nier. Nobody asked you, but... What? You have got to be fucking shitting me. Just when I thought this dude could not sink any lower by not understanding the creation of entertainment whatsoever, it just sunk even fucking lower. Weren't you literally just bitching about people harassing you in the comments section? It astounds me to no end how you've managed to do one of the most stupid things I've ever seen on YouTube so far. First of all, you are missing the point on why Josh made a big deal out of it to begin with. Quantum TV told the Elden Ring community to go off themselves even though he was simultaneously complaining about the fact that people criticized him for his Elden Ring takes. That's why Josh bothered responding to that part so furiously. And secondly, you criticized me earlier for pausing your video and cutting you off mid-sentence on a live stream. Your dumbass cut me off mid-sentence on a video and are completely leaving out the important other half of Psychonautic Therapy's comment on my stream. So here's the full context of said clip. Oh no dude, he said go kill yourself. None of us really even cared when Quantum TV did it, just that he tried backtracking on saying- Yeah, he backtracked on that shit. That's why we cared in the first place. Cause 
Quantum TB was like, at the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. And then he backtracked on it and meant to say in game, like, that's why people care sometimes. Is if you backtrack on saying shit like that, it makes you look bad. You know what? I'm done with this video. This whole drama is fucking stupid. This man tries to say he's taking the L on the situation, but simultaneously makes some of the worst arguments I've ever had to go through. Let all of this sink in, guys. Apparently this man is taking the L. Totally not making things worse whatsoever. So there you have it. Hypocrite Hunter is incredibly disingenuous. He's a drama queen. He blindly paints people as fanboys. He can't take criticism. And he's incredibly illiterate. I never thought I had to say any of those things to this person, but unfortunately, it looks like he is the one that is writhing in thirst for drama content. Isn't that right, Special Force 117? Thank you all for watching, be sure to subscribe because I need clout.